This is an RC combat plane. It's made out of sheet foam, 3D printed parts, duct tape, and hot glue. And here's what we do with them. Are you ready? Well, it looks like it's back to the shop for some hot glue and some duct tape to make this fly again. You'll find a link in the video description on how to build your own platform. But for now, let's get going on that night flyer. In this video, we'll be hacking into the flight system of one of my combat airplanes to give it a new design as a night flyer. We're going to start with a fresh platform, a Raspberry Pi Pico, a Kitronic Simply Servo Board, a few strings of NeoPixel LEDs, double-sided tape, jumpers, and some power connectors. Modern RC receivers use built-in microcontrollers to process the data from the transmitter into servo pulses. Many of these microcontrollers use 3.3 volt I.O. signals, which are compatible with the Pico. The first step will be to tap into the battery leads to get power for the project. The aircraft's electronic speed control already has a 5-volt BEC, or battery elimination circuit, but we'll save that to power the existing flight You can find out more about basic RC flight control systems in a blog in the description. Now that we've pigtailed the power leads, we can connect the second VEC that will power the Kitronic Simply Servo Board, which in turn powers the Pico and all of the NeoPixels. Well, let's have some fun making the lights react to changes in throttle input place a Y connector into the throttle output of the receiver and plug one lead into the ESC. Well, it looks like we have a problem. The remaining wire connector is the wrong gender for the servo board. Rather than finding a male to female adapter, I'll just change the pins and sockets in the connector to keep the wires short. All you need is signal and ground. Do not use the power lead. Some RC radios have auxiliary channels. Let's connect one of those channels to the servo board as well. Maybe a dimming function. In this case, I have the correct jumper with the power lead removed. Now let's add the Pico to the Kitronic board. Well, it's time to add the NeoPixels to the plane. Location of the lights is a personal preference, but be strategic in the placement so the plane's lights or the glow is visible from all angles. Be sure the lights are securely attached to avoid coming loose in flight. Run the power and control leads from the strips to the servo board. You can use servo jumper wire with the tail end removed, or make custom leads using three conductor wire and connectors. Solder the bare leads to the servo strip, making sure the wires are on the correct terminals. Before discussing programming, it should be noted that NeoPixels can draw significant power. This project and the plane each draw power from a single battery source. Dimming and other programming steps can be taken to reduce NeoPixel load. How long the battery can support the load is called the flight time. Evaluate the battery capacity after an initial flight of about three minutes. Increase flight time depending upon battery performance. The Arduino IDE platform was used to program the Pico. Standard libraries were used to run the NeoPixels. The programming specifics are available in a blog link in the description. There's only one thing left to do, let's give it a try. Keep watching for some more RC flying action.
video is performed by experienced pilots. Practice flying during the day until comfortable with a night flying or combat attempt. Be sure spectators are kept a safe distance from the pilot and the plane during the flight.